spent many, many, many days here on the campground working over the years and have many, many sweet members, great members. And so here one more time, thanks to my brother-in-law Earl Murphy and uh, Troy Ferris and his wife that drove us up and brought us here and made it possible that we could be here. So I feel like this is a time of great emotional feelings. So you'll have to excuse me if I cry a little bit. <laughs> because it's an awesome remembrance of all your people, and all your families, and all your children that we've had the privilege of knowing and working with over the years. This book is a book that I had very little to do with. God orchestrated the whole thing and brought it to pass, and I didn't even know he did it. I had the privilege of going to uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania to speak at James Street Mennonite Church. And I told two of my stories of God's grace. And there was a lady in that audience that came to me. She said, I want to write a book. I said, okay, write a book if you want to write a book. <laughs> <laughs> so she and another lady drove all the way down to Venice, Louisiana and brought a microphone and a, a little recorder and I told these stories to her, and she recorded them, took them back to Pennsylvania, began to make a book. But something happened, and she dropped it. And for a whole year, I heard nothing about the book. Then another lady found it, and several others, and they picked it up and finished it. And they... Let me, they let me know they wrote a book. See, I didn't write it. So in the, in the writing of this book was something that God did. And one day a man called me and told me, I read your book. I said, what book? <laughs> I didn't even know there was a book out there. So, so God put this thing together really almost out, completely out of my realm. And so what's written in there is written by best memory I could get up at this age. And uh, lots of people are enjoying it and being blessed with it.